Okay, so in the last class, I think we completed AIDS, right? We studied the mechanism, diagnosis, and about the virus as well, right? Okay, very well. So anyone would like to volunteer for a quick, quick recap, quick summary? No, by now. By now, someone should <clears throat> volunteer. Anyone? No one would like to volunteer? See, someone has to give the summary, right? No? Okay, uh, Hiba, Hiba, can you? Can you get the summary today? Are you there? How are you doing? Uh, am I audible to Heba? I think she can hear me. Heba, if you can hear me, you can reply in the chat. If you cannot speak. <clears throat> Otherwise, then let's go to Rifat, Rifat, are you there? Yeah, would you like to give a quick recap of acquired immunodeficiency syndrome? So I was absent Monday and Wednesday last. Okay. Then about who was present? Hannah, Hannah, you were present? Would you like to volunteer? Yes, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. And how are you? Fine, sir. Sorry, I wasn't there, sir. Could you repeat, sir? Yeah, I was saying, uh, how about a quick summary? Oh, okay, yes, sir. Yeah, okay, thank you. No problem, sir. Mm -hmm. We started by AIDS, okay? And AIDS yes, yes. means Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Syndrome mm -hmm. is a group of syndrome. Uh, AIDS is caused by HIV, uh, a human immunodeficiency virus. Um, mm -hmm. HIV kills or uh, attacks the helper T cells where immunity goes down. AIDS patient is, uh, since the T cells are uh, attacked, now the AIDS patients are uh, the AIDS patient are completely helpless since their uh, the their immunity is not working completely. Um, they are prone to different other diseases. So you see AIDS with pneumonia, like that, something like that. Okay, so um, AIDS was first reported in nineteen eighty one, um, and the um, characteristics of HIV is that HIV has a long latency period for months and almost similar to COVID, I guess. Um, it means a person shows positive <clears throat> in a test, but will not show any symptoms, latency. latency. So, so latency, um, in case of COVID, we're not sure if it's the, the latency that, the kind of latency that HIV shows. In case of COVID, we have very degree of responses by the body and also by the virus. Mm -hmm. So all the viruses, in case of COVID, there are many strains, okay? Uh, and there are not as many strains in the case of HIV virus. And COVID, some strains are more transmissible, but less lethal. Some are less transmissible, but more lethal. So these things vary because you must have heard of alpha, beta, kappa, epsilon, omicron, gamma, all these strains, right? Yes, sir. So we will not compare it with HIV because we do not have enough data or we do not know enough about COVID. It's a very new novel virus. Okay. Okay. Sir. And, and, and the latency period in HIV is really, really long. It can be from months to even, even decades, more than 10 years, more than you know, 15, 20 years 
also in some cases it has been reported but we don't see that kind of latency in um, uh, covid because <clears throat> we don't know what are the long covid symptoms anyways yeah yes continue then um, hiv is a retrovirus where it uh, retrovirus means where it's made of rna protein mm -hmm. um and then you uh, said about the cycle i guess for retrovirus first uh, dna replicates and then rna and the transcription and then protein translation okay and then it reverses yeah, so I told you, so this is the central dogma that we discussed. So we were discussing that normally DNA can make DNA through replication, like DNA can be synthesized in a DNA dependent manner through replication, then RNA can be synthesized in a DNA dependent manner through transcription, and then protein is synthesized in an RNA dependent manner through translation, right? And we, we, we were discussing that retroviruses having RNA as their genome, they have this ability to be able to synthesize DNA in an RNA dependent manner. Now that's opposite, right? Normally RNA is synthesized in a DNA dependent manner from a DNA, RNA is transcribed. But here from a RNA, DNA is being synthesized. So that's called reverse transcription that happens in retroviruses and the retroviruses have uh, this enzyme called reverse transcriptase with which they do this reverse transcription. Makes sense, Anna? Yes, sir. Yeah. And then we went on to discuss this mechanism. So let's start with this mechanism, replication. Yep. So uh, first, um... The RNA is introduced in the cell and uh, reverse transcription happens, and then the second that's the second step. Okay. And then while mm. uh, the DNA incorporates into the host genome, okay, and then millions and millions of copies are formed uh, in, infected in the cell, okay, to produce like a new virus. Hello, I'm Ardu. Yes, sir, you are. Sir, am I audible? You were not audible for some time, at least for me, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure if it was my network or yours. But you are audible now. Yes, continue. Can you, can you please start from the beginning? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So the viral, like, RNA, that, um, how to say, replicated or transcribed into a DNA. Yeah. No, we, we just want to start from here. Can you see my cursor? Can the retrovirus. You, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so from here, this part. Yes, sir. After the RNA infects, okay, the RNA is introduced into the cell, and then the second stage is the DNA is produced by reverse transcription. Yes. And um, the viral D, the, the DNA, okay, incorporates into the host genome, okay. A new RNA is formed, okay, uh, in yeah. the, by the infected cell, okay, and then copies are made. Millions of copies are made with that new, with you know, how to say. Um, yeah. So, so why is this? Why is this need for making a DNA? Because uh, we have studied that RNA can directly make proteins. What is the problem here with this virus? It is sending the RNA. It has a RNA genome. Now RNA can directly be read and can be can be converted into proteins. Many proteins can be synthesized from one mRNA. Why is this vi viral RNA going through this flip-flop business to become a DNA and then getting incorporated into our genome and then eventually again making RNA? It was RNA only to begin with. So, what is the answer? Uh, like, um, it probably has a different sequence, you know? No, if it will have different sequence, it will be a different RNA. Yeah, that is a different RNA, so. <clears throat> no, if it is a different RNA, then it's not HIV RNA, right? You cannot change the RNA. No, like the uh, HIV RNA is different from our RNA, you know, the human RNA. Yes, but this is the HIV RNA that entered, right? Yeah. 
then it became HIV, uh, HIV RNA became HIV DNA. Viral RNA became viral DNA. Then it got incorporated into our own DNA. It became a part of our own DNA. Yeah. Kind of. And then it started producing its own RNA. So this RNA is not human RNA. This is a viral RNA only. So it is the same RNA that was that entered the cell. Like you understood. Yeah. But why are why are we making the same RNA when the RNA only entered? The simple answer is scaling mm -hmm. up. Just, just one, yes, just one RNA entered. Now we have to make millions. Mm. Because then only we can make millions of proteins and then millions of new viruses. That's what viruses do. They enter the cell, they enter the host system, and they replicate. Correct? Yes. Mm. Continue. And um, HIV replicates in macrophages. Um... I, I think I wrote that as latency period. Yeah? yeah. Sorry? HIV. Yes. Yeah, so, HIV, so HIV virus actually uh, first, if it attacks macrophages, it does not kill the macrophages. It just replicates in the macrophages and does not show any symptoms. So unless and until you are killing the cells in which you are replicating, the body has no problem. The body will not know that you are not there and it's easier for a virus to be sneaky if it's not killing, if it's not causing anything. That's why viruses go unnoticed when they are, they do not show any symptoms. The same thing happened in the course, case of COVID, right? There were many people who were HIV, uh, sorry, COVID positive around us who did not know that they are COVID positive because there were no symptoms in them. And they were very easy uh, carriers of the virus and the virus could spread to others. You will never know where the virus came from because uh, there was no uh, sick person around you, but you got it from an asymptomatic person, and then you can uh, you can fall ill. So that's where if they are silent, they are that's the latency period. So when HIV replicates in the macrophages, that comes under its latency period. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. It only starts becoming symptomatic when it starts attacking the helper T cells and helper T cells starts dying. That onwards, that stage onwards, we call, uh, we, we no longer say that the person is HIV positive. We say that the person is suffering from AIDS. So a person can be HIV positive, but still not suffering from AIDS because the virus is in latency period. That happens, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Very good. So then? The mode of uh, spread. Yep. Um, there are, uh, the mode of spread is um, sexual contact and exchange of body fluids like semen, blood, or plasma. Okay. Blood transfusion from the infected or uh, pregnant mother to the fetus through the placenta. Okay. AIDS can also be mm. uh, prevented but not cured. Um, AIDS can be prevented. Yeah. AIDS can only be prevented, not cured. Yeah. Yep. And the diagnosis is ELSA, enzyme linked immunosorbent AC. ELISA. Oh, ELISA. Yeah. Correct. Oh. So, this is the method about which I dictated that it's an antibody antigen binding test. And here we get to know that the virus, HIV virus, is in the body or not. Okay. So this is where we left in the last class. I'll start with a new notebook today because that's very overwhelmed. Anyway, so any doubts? No, sir. No doubts? Others? Any doubts? Anyone? Refat, Hiba, Atef, Hanifa, and Fatima. Good evening, Fatima. You just joined. No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so today I'll be starting with the disease, cancer. Why are we studying cancer here? Is because, so first of all, what do you know about the disease? What do you know about cancer? Anyone, you mu it's very common. You must have heard about cancer in books or uh, elsewhere in general. What do you know about? What is cancer? It is a chronic disease. Chronic disease of? Uh, of cells. 
of cells. Yeah. So what what happens in cells? Like Just basically, some, they yeah. start multiplying. Mm -hmm. Correct. Which causes? For that matter, all our cells do multiply. So what's the problem with multiplication? I don't think multiplication it's, is a problem. Mm -hmm. It's uncontrolled. So like it's uncontrolled. Great. I mean, uh, great, great. You're right. So cancer is, and, and where does it happen? Where does cancer affect? In, it can affect in yes parts of the in body. multiple yes in multiple mm. organs it can it can affect and different kind of cancers have different name okay you must have very commonly heard of blood cancer right you know what is blood cancer known as it's called leukemia it's named after leukocytes which is wbcs wbc starts multiplying in number uh, very, very fast and uncontrollably in the blood and that causes blood cancer. Blood is a tissue, right? It's the only fluid tissue in the body, but it's considered a tissue. Now in cancer, write down, the oncogenic transformation of cells, 